estamos aqui com o Sr. Jonas Wildstrom, é, representante dessa AB, que vai falar um pouco para a gente sobre o radar Sigiraf 1X. Hello, Jonas. Hello. Please show us, talk with us about this fantastic radar, this AB, please. Okay, what you see in front of you here is the Sigiraf 1X uh, radar. Uh, it's an uh, X-band AESA radar which uh, weights only 100 kilos, which means that you can put the radar on a vast variation of ships, from unmanned surface vessels up to large frigates. Um, the total weight of the system is only 150 kilos, with the top weight of 100 kilos and 50 kilos below decks. Ma makes it uh, very suitable for a large types of platforms. Um, it has an update rate of one, uh, uh, 60 revolutions uh, per, per minute, which uh, is really important when you have uh, um, threats in the air and in the surface that you need to take care of and be ready to engage. Um, the radar has a coverage of uh, more than 70 degrees and the importance here is that it, it simultaneously uh, survey the air and the surface at the same time. And on top of that, we have a drone tracking functionality, which makes the radar simultaneously to air and surface surveillance also tracks drones out to 10 kilometers from the radar. Um, I will switch slide now. So, some facts about the radar. Um, it can, at the moment, it can track uh, 600 tracks and uh, provides all the information to the combat management system on board the ship. Um, it works on the X-band, as I said before, and it has a very high level of automa automation, which means that the operator on board can, can uh, use all the functions in a very easy way. Talking about the capabilities again, I mentioned air and surface uh, surveillance at the same time, drone tracking functionality, but it also has a functionality that we call rocket artillery mortar, which means that you can uh, um, detect a rocket or a mortar firing position uh, and calculate the impact position, which is really useful in, for some, uh, in some scenarios at the uh, sea, close to the, sh to, close to the coast. The radar also has an extensive counter-countermeasure uh, um, uh, design, which is really important in those environments when you have uh, lots of emitters uh, and lots of jamming. So it's designed for that. Uh, the drone tracking capability, I will I'll come back to that, which means that you can actually uh, separate drones from bird in a bird flock. And uh, uh, this is uh, one of the uh, major threats at the moment that uh, the world is uh, looking at. And we have done this for, for uh, more than five years now. And we are, I would say that we have uh, succeeded quite good in, in this function. Yes. Another thing that's important with the uh, CDR of One X radar is that it's it's digital. Um, basically, you don't need to um, make half-time upgrades once in a while every fifteen years. It's designed so you can upgrade the radar due to software um, upgrades. Uh, when the customer needs a new function, the developers uh, program it and then you pour it into the computer and you have a new function. That is really important. And finally, um, it is also designed to be easy maintained. If you, if you look at the radar, it has an uh, easy uh, way of uh, maintained by opening a hatch in the, in the behind and you can easily uh, switch components if they break. But uh, in my experience, they seldom break. Uh, what you see on the picture is a uh, prototype. Uh, I would say it's a, 
it's a laboratory platform that we use within our company to test um, unmanned surface um, um, functions, sensors, and um, how to operate an unmanned vessel. So it's a it's a laboratory platform which we have put in one X radar on, uh, so you can use it in different kinds of uh, scenarios. Okay, Jonas, please uh, tell us about the why this CGRF One X. It's uh, special or more special in comparison to the other radars in the market. Okay. I would say, first of all, the size of the radar is uh, really important, really uh, suitable for almost any kind of vessel. And the range compared to the size. I mean, the instrumented range of this radar is 100 kilometers. And the second thing is that you, uh, it simultaneously scans the surface and the air for uh, different kinds of targets and the targets the targets that you can automatically and simultaneously detect is aircrafts missiles helicopters and drones and surface vessels at the same time that's is the that's i think is the discriminator to to, 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 to other uh, uh, radars. Okay, so thank you very much, sir, for your time here for the Defesa Aeronaval in Brazil. Thank you very much.